Hi folks, welcome back to Transport Fever 2 with the Just Trains series. I'm tempted to rename it to <laughs> fixing the subway system. Because uh, that's what we've been doing the last episode and probably most of this one again. So because I didn't know that you could actually add the cargo terminals to the underground platforms. So I've had to basically remove most of the stations. We've had to renew Edinburgh. We had to renew Bambi. Melbourne, I think was... No, I think we had to renew Melbourne. Birmingham and Oakview were fine because they only had one train going through them. So they didn't have to change much. Glasgow we had to change. So you can see underground. So they do actually have an underground system. I should probably add... Well I actually have added some of the tracks but not all of them. Oh, come on, underneath. So basically some of these are actually going to have like up to 4 or 5, five rails <laughs> underground. And then the really busy ones are going to have like 8. So we're going to have quite a lot of underground activity. A lot. Actually, most, pretty much all of our stuff is going to be underground. I don't know why I didn't connect that one up. <laughs> it's connected now. You can see you've got cargo up and down, and then you've got the regular passenger up and down. So we'll go back up to Edinburgh. I think we just finished it, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you've got up, down, up, down, so... Yeah, that one's fine. Let's reconnect these two rails. So it's not that one, that one. That can go straight in there. And then once we've, well, we need to actually renew the the insert the the Ashford one because for some reason at the start of episode 6 or 4 or 5 I can't remember exactly what one so for some reason Glasgow and Ashford were, became the same station I don't know why mind so I'm going to actually curve this station you actually cover more of the city if you curve the station. So I want it to curve this way. So buildings, cargo, I'm going to curve it maybe there. A bit more. So I want it to come in, so I think it goes parallel with that road, doesn't it? So about here we'll probably do, 
then it means it can go all the way up there once we start adding terminals and stuff. So I would say about there. Configure. Right. So we need track and platform. Then track and another platform and yeah more track this is genuinely how big this needs to be and then Cargo. And then track. To be honest, it doesn't really matter if it's high speed or katana, because uh, high speed or regular, because it's a station. It'll just look different aesthetically. They won't be that fast coming into the station. So that covers a bit more of the station which is nice. So obviously we need to reposition some of the track. So I'd probably take about here. So we've got one little bit of off put, it doesn't really matter. So it's going to be that cargo, that cargo. So it's going to be this one. The trains are going to be connecting to. Once I find the... So that goes in there. for it to go underground, I think you just need to go far back enough for it to actually work. No, okay, fine. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. Right, and this is the freight one. And you need to actually accept that. Separate one for the other side.
We've wasted like two. <laughs> we should have enough money though. The only problem is the actual subway lines out of commission, but we'll be fine once we get it back up. We need to reset the entire line anyway. I probably should connect these ones actually. The inside ones. I mean, they're easy enough to do. And it gives us an idea of how much track we're actually using. So I think it's when we get to... I would probably say here, Farmville. Maybe. No, because it goes all the way down to... Well... It's got Farmville's out in the middle of bloody nowhere, that's the problem. So once it gets to Melbourne, it's going to need to turn, go down to Miami. Gonna need to like, curve and then go down back through Miami and then down through Farnville back into Glasgow. So, yeah, they do need to go all the way down. Basically this entire train track needs to be connected. Come on, really? You're going to connect like that? why that's separated like that. I really don't. Where did it separate from? Here. together. And then we still need this one to connect as well. Probably better doing it like 
that way. Yeah. God, this is going to look so weird once it's done, but it's going to look awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, seven? Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven? How's a seven? That makes no sense. If I miss something, this should be eight. I'm going to need to look on the way back up. There should be an even amount of track. Yeah, well, I've missed one. Somehow. One of these isn't connected. Well. I'm not including that one. <laughs> but one of these tracks is wrong. It's either that or I've counted wrong. Could be. Once I get that connected up, we'll check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, this should be a double. This one. That's what it is. Right, good thing is, we've not actually done anything to the... We've not added anything to the station yet, so we can actually just remove the outside one. I don't really want to do, re -hold, re do the whole thing again. So I just need to get it to take away this. Oh wait, it's that, isn't it? The highlight over. Yeah. I think that just got rid of the outside track as well, did it? Yeah, I think it just got rid of that terminal on the outside. What did it? Uh, oh, I need to see. I think it's just clearing the entire track up <laughs> I don't know why. Right, so that's the cargo one, isn't it? Right, let, let's count. Has it actually removed the tracks? Yeah, it's resizing it, that's what it is. Right, so let's see. One. One, two. One, two. So this should have enough track here. Is what it is. And then a cargo one. Let's think it's colliding with the track. Just as well we checked all that before we actually continued, because I would have had to have removed the entire station again. Right, we should be able to get this in now. And then... track. So we were off by one track, that's why it was a bit weird looking. Come on. That should be us now. Down, 
up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right, that's fine. That's us back into calculations. So I think we need to slightly arrange them because I think it's slightly over. are actually meant to be connected. So I think we're going to have to go over here, then separate. And that can go straight in. Then we can get this thing we want in. Connect to the track, please, not the. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's the amount of track. And you're off again. Well, oh, that's not connected. That's probably bad. Right. This is where I spotted that. Come on. What's wrong with you? Connect to it. Oh, why is it not way to connect to it? I should probably just do the main line first, and then focus on the outside ones. Because we're going to run out of cash if we do it this way. But at least this bit's all connected to it. There, maybe. And that can go straight into there. The underground, please. Thank you. There. So that's what it will look like once it's all fully connected. And my internet's went off, but that's fine. I'm not I'm not doing anything online anyway. Just creating this weird ass thing. Right. 
Next, forest fowl. Forest fowl may be okay. Where's the stations? Is that See if I could remove the stations there. I don't need to renew the entire. Renew the. Renew the connections. I don't think you can do that though, unfortunately. Or can you? Can I actually remove the connection without removing the whole station? I don't really want to remove this one. It looks like we can. It's going to be a laggy, but we can do it. No, in saying that, no, we need to renew the whole cargo. We need to add the cargo in and stuff. So just remove it. We're renewing all of them. They all need to get fixed. And make them more efficient. And I'm not doing it. I was thinking maybe we could just keep the stations in, but I don't think it's going to work that way. I like the goddamn crack, I thought we the trees. Yeah, I think that will do. Right, so I want this one to just come straight down. Uh, if we put it there, then we can build right along. See, it's tricky. No. Oh, because we're still working on that one. We never actually finished that. That's probably why Glasgow connected to it because we didn't finish it. And this hasn't got the tracks on it either. Right. That's probably what happened. Uh, street connections. Actually, what I'm going to do, so I don't have to risk anything, I'm just going to take this one away and then we'll build it once we're finished with Ashford. That's probably how Glasgow and Ashford connected. So we've got one there. There. Hopefully one along here somewhere on the main road. And then one along here somewhere. To be honest, we don't really need that one. Can it demi Ashford? Right, so we can now go down to Forestville. I think we were going to put it there, weren't we? I think that's what the problem was before. We can be we basically added them both at the same station. Right, let's so put there. Then track. Platform. There. Track. 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 Platform there, there, track there, there. 
just make sure there's actually two before I put the cargo one down. And then we get the track. Let's just check. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down. That's fine. So we can just. Mm, I'm not going to get rid of that yet because it makes us some cash, which we'll need to get this thing up and running. I do like the fact that the way you can actually add where you want the stations to be, that's pretty awesome. And then some on the other side. Forest fell. So it should now. Hmm. Are they under the different forest fell branch? I don't know. <laughs> That is connected to everywhere, even the station. <laughs> okay. Right, let's get the tracks hooked up. No idea why you're trying to connect that way. Actually, we should probably connect the passenger one on first, then we can run parallel with it. So it's that one. Is it that one? Or is it in the next one? Next one. That's not even connected to a station. Are these exactly are the issues with our rise <laughs> if we don't set it up properly? That goes out of there. So we've got this one, which is the cargo one.
Okay, so where we're heading to? And there's a vehicle in there. Uh, tell you what. Alright, so I don't think I need to do that. I can just sell them for here. I can just sell all of these. Without actually having to. Because you used to have to sell them straight to the de from the depot, but now you can just sell them wherever you are, which is actually quite handy. That one, and then the cargo one. You can X straight in. And the next one goes in there. Come on, why? And then that goes all the way back down. and getting all these set up. But we're gonna need to renew the subway lines anyway after we reconstructed the, the stations so So I'll just clear them and then make a whole new route. Because they need to go into different platforms now.
sure it's connected to the rail, which it is. Right. Well, the good thing is it's only London next, which is the last one before we go back to Glasgow. I'm going to need to clear these away, obviously, because we've got the new... Well, not, not really. Yeah, because we need to add the, the second tracks in. And they're not going to go through. Yeah, so get rid of these. there. Yeah, I can put the depot here, outside Glasgow, and then I can go either that way or that way, whatever way there they need to go. Yeah. Sorted. So once we do London, we can connect London and Glasgow and then up to Forestville. Because I think, did we Actually, look at this, we did. Mm. But I don't think we fixed the route though. Nah. So we're going to need to get rid of this station. Once we get rid of once we clear this out of the way. Now it's just a straight connection between Glasgow and For Forestville and then we can just start putting the trains back out. Right. Building. Radius about that. Well, where's the actual track coming from here and here? So, something like that. And I'm actually going to do this as the outside one here. Figure. So that's going to need to move a bit more. Which is easy enough, we can just bring it to about here. Okay. So, track there. Then again, there. Platform. There. Track. Track. Platform. Track. Track. We probably don't need these massive cargo platforms, but you never know. And then one last track. Then, in theory, we will have all the tracks connected. Or the tracks done, at least. That's all we don't need to do now is hook these last few stations up 
with the train and then set them up so down up down up down up, up down no oh, wait I've confused myself down up down up down up down up right that's fine so that's the station's done so we just need to Well, we should probably set up the station first. To be honest, I'm not bothered the fact it's not about to connect. We've got a big enough station there anyway. And that should cover pretty much everywhere there anyway. Um yeah, pretty much a few places up here I would like to connect actually. now be part of London Central. That now covers all of that. Cool. So now that we've got them, we just need to hook them up. Uh, so it's this one. Goes into there. into there and then the cargo one
Oh, it's not connected. Right, so that's the... Right, I'm not having 50, that should take us. Bring these back. That goes into that one. I think that's the right one, isn't it? Yeah. No, 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 no. I I really don't know why it's insisting on putting that like that. It just wants to do it all the time. I'm not bothered about the same fact, as long as it's not 50. That'll be fine. For, no, for, for the first bit, it's not, it won't really affect that. Right, so I think that's... No, we've done something wrong. That's only three. What have I connected up wrong? We've connected one up wrong, or we've missed something. Let's see. Hmm. So there's four there. Where's the fourth one? It somehow goes from 3 to 4. I don't know how. Where's the connection? Few tracks in it for. Right, so that's that one, right? And then that's for that one. And then that goes in there. I don't know how I managed to do that. So this one follows it. going to be fun trying to get it into there. <laughs> right, okay. So 
we need. This one here and it here. And then you and to here. It's not gonna let me. I'm assuming this bit's all hooked in. Yeah. Wait, Glasgow hasn't been fixed. Fudge. <laughs> Where has it? No, because it needs more platforms. How does it? I'm just going to loop that one up there to Farmville. I'm not going through Glasgow. I've already got enough places that can go through. So the one from London just goes straight up the way. There's enough. And then we got another one from here. And then I can just follow that one. You know we still need to do the signals and stuff, which is going to be fun. There. So that, I believe, is the main line hooked back up with subways and freight. So all we need to do now is place the signals, get the lines back up and running. This shouldn't take very long. I 
I mean the left the right the, the main line for the passengers should mostly be set up anyway. Since we've already done them. Up the way. That goes down the way. Ah, we might as well do that side as well, so we don't need. To Whole bit only that because this is on there. <laughs> down, up, down. No, up, down. Down. Did I not hook these up? I should have. I guess I didn't because there's only two of them here. I thought I hooked all of them up. Fine, we'll do them. I thought I hooked them all up.
Why are you not wanting to connect? These tracks are so far apart. That's connected. We'll just hit the signals up over here. This is actually set up, so it was just that at the Melbourne, Melbourne to Birmingham route just wasn't hooked up. These have already got signals, so I just put them wherever they are. Although, we probably should put some here. Check this one's done. Mm, no, oh, wrong way. Should be us. So I think next episode we'll probably spend most of the time setting the loops up because we need to make sure they're going into the right platform, which they should technically because it's th I've actually set them up better than the default one was. So that shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, I will catch you then, and we also need to add the trains back in as well. But I will see you then for the actual place replacing of the trains, and we'll set the cargoes up as well. So I will catch you then. Take care. Goodbye for now.